and welcome back to the channel everybody great to see you back again today we have a green light kings of crunch series 9 truck to go over this is the 1970 chevrolet k10 usa1 heritage so if i am correct this is the very first variation of usa1 back in the day whenever this came out um, I believe it was in the same area as Bigfoot. Emmert Jasmer was the name of the creator of this truck, if I remember correctly. I might have said his name a little wrong. But uh, very cool. Everybody probably knows this for the white variation. But uh, I had to get this one nice and muddied up. Uh, the pack's a little bit more damaged, I guess you can say, crinkled up than this one. So we're going to be opening up this one, putting it on the crush cars, and putting it on the turntable to take a look at. So let's get this beautiful truck opened up, get a closer look at it. So let's go ahead and open it up. Just cut it, flip it out of there. Very cool. Love keeping the cards in the back of the card anyway. These are packaged very good. If you're not familiar with Green Light, they pack their stuff very well. Let's try to pop it out of there one handed. There we go. Okay. Probably could have done that off camera, but. So here we have it. Big, beautiful, dirty, old school monster truck. Man, that thing looks amazing. I love their muddy look. It looks very good. They do a great job. Um, they also do bigger scale trucks, like one uh, 24, if I'm correct. Maybe a little bit smaller. So, let's get this thing on the crush cars and see how that looks. I know that's what you guys are waiting for. There's a nice shot of it right there. As you see, it's got some nice chrome rims that are muddied up also which Hot Wheels needs to take a little bit of incentive off of other brands and do a better muddy tires. I'm really getting sick of the whole half muddy, clean looking tire thing going on there. Um, it's got awesome details in the front. You can see it's got a winch on there. Great looking truck. Look at the chassis. I mean, all that's all muddied up. Very, very cool. You can see the engine up in there. Set it on the crush cars. And coming down off of the crush cars. Very, very cool. As you see, there's even a section that's kind of clean right there still. That looks pretty cool. Big old Chevy logo. So yeah, I'm very, very satisfied with the Greenlight Kings of Crunch trucks. Have to pick up every series that I find. I see that they do a lot of the same truck over and over again. But um, hey, that's alright. It's a different variation, right? And a set of six of these will run you a little bit closer to 50 bucks, depending on where you get them. I do have every one of these. If you're interested in seeing what they look like, go check out my Greenlight Kings of Crunch Series 9 review video. I went over every truck. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a very cool truck. Hopefully you'll find it yourself. These are out in stores now. This is the newest series, series number 9. Uh, I'm still trying to catch up by finding some that I'm missing in other series, so... Stay safe out there, everybody. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. I would really appreciate it. And we will see you in the next video. Keep on collecting.